I am at the SAE conference, Serious About Youth conference today, 2019, and I'm glad to be speaking to one of the keynote speakers and workshop leads, and that is Gavin McKenna from Reach Every Generation, am I right? That's right. One time the poster boy for Sky News That's many years ago. How has that treated you? That was good, that was good. It was um, the beginning of what I believe was, was they were going to become the now. Um, Building upon that, it was a good time, uh, tragedy at the time, 2011 riots, um, but a good opportunity to kind of have my voice heard and seats and what God wants to do through me, you know. Now we're here, we're 10 years on, we're developing, nine years on, we're developing some real work and really trying to make a difference to young people's lives across the country. You say 10 years on, how shocked are you from 10 years on? How shocked am I? Yes. I'm shocked that it's still going on. My, 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 my fear is that we had a nine prime epidemic 10 years ago, according to statistics. We've seen it again 10 years later, which is last year. That means seven year olds 10 years ago are dying now, and that, that breaks my heart. So I feel like at that time it felt like the worst thing that could happen to society, and we're, we're just seeing it repeated and increased now. So I'm, I'm sad, you know, I'm really sad. So you're at the conference today. Can you share with me any inner plans you have and your organization has for working? in relation to you, at work in relation to you? Yeah, we're trying to offer young people hope and opportunity. We've got projects, five projects across the country, mentoring young people from 10 to 17. We've got one in Burnwood, one in Basildon in Essex. Um, we've got three in Buckinghamshire, Milton Keynes, Wickham and Ellsbury. And our plans and our hopes is to mentor young people and see them further their life, get a job, start a business, um, and just see young people's lives be transformed. Okay, you are high profiled, high profiled, high profiled in the early morning <laughs> individual. I mean, what are the obstacles you're facing with your business in terms of finances, for example? Sometimes, I feel as an individual, I'm classified as high profile, but as a company, amongst other companies that have been around a long time, your work is overlooked because of your name. So, we've broke through now, it's been three years we've been trying, we've finally got funding from Big Lottery and that's kind of opened doors for other people, but they have to take a risk and we're struggling for with people that want to take a risk or really want to make a difference. There's a lot of people that are just comfortable funding the same projects, same projects, but then you get the same outcomes. And for me it's about new, initi new initiatives and new ideas that can truly make a difference. You probably saw that bereaved parents and anti-knife campaigners marched in London asking for the new Prime Minister yeah. to hold the COVID meeting. That was not uphold, it was turned down. What are your thoughts on that? I know some of the mums. Operation shut down. Um, it's sad. You know what? My, my frustration is that we have an issue in society that politicians and people above don't understand, and yet we don't listen to those that are living amongst them every day. The, the worst thing that could happen to a parent is to lose their child. Yes. For someone to not acknowledge or even listen to that, it's heartbreaking. And, and, and it saddens me to know that our political state is, that, is in that way, that they wouldn't even consider or hear the heart of parents that have lost their sons. So does this beg the question that the church is the answer or you, you want to be more, not academic, but more no, I believe, focused on that? I believe the church. The only answer to this problem is Jesus. And the reason we're not seeing no changes is because the church has been taken out of every situation that's possibly there. My thing, travel the country, share my testimony, show what Christ has done through me. And that's our way. We have to be creative and how we share the gospel now. For me, when you take Christ out of the equation, you, you're, left, you're left open to any other thing. And that's what we're seeing. Youth violence, more kids dying. The levels of violence have increased. We're not, we're not seeing the government and non-Christian. Um, we need to go back to our roots, man. Do you think the amnesty day, you know, the handing over your guns or mm. your knives, should, should that be more annual? It was, it's done like five years ago or four years ago? I don't think they were. Because it's like, you could take the knife out of the hand, you could take the knife out of the mind. And the only person that can change your heart and your mind is Christ Jesus. So for me, it's, you know what, it's a weak attempt at saying you're doing something. Because for every knife that gets put in the bin, another one gets bought. People that are handling their guns, and if you look at them, most of them are firearms that aren't active. They're old firearms that are just on display, so it's frustrating. Yes. You're a man of equality, mm -hmm. so do you think a gang member, whether they be female or male, is still a gang member? I mean, I know there's distinction between male and female gang members. Listen, I think men and women in gangs, it's the same thing. Like, there's this, there's this belief that young women are sexual objects in gangs, which is true. There's an element of that. Same with young men. Young men are used in initiations to rape females. They're sexual objects also. But I think what we've done is we've 
victimized females and we're criminalized males. And what's happened is we've got something in society where we're saying women are weak so they're victims, men are strong so they're perpetrators. When in true sense of the word, anyone could be a victim or a perpetrator at one given time. I know that today is going to be a very busy day for you. Yeah. So where can uh, the listeners get in touch with you or see you in person? Um, so yeah, I'm here today. Um, I've got events all over the country. You can check us out on Twitter, so at, at Reach Every Gen. Um, we've got a website, www.reachevergeneration.co.uk. Um, Gavin McKenna on LinkedIn. Um, we're on Instagram also. Okay, Gavin McKenna. Pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much.